The weather is causing problems for the Port Authority this morning. All tea service has been halted. It is because of a flash freeze a little more than an hour ago. Adam Brenda from the Port Authority is joining us live on the news line this morning. Adam, thanks so much for getting up early and speaking with us. Tell us exactly what this is like for Port Authority. You call it a flash freeze. Good morning, Rick and Lisa. Uh, so overnight we ran rail cars with sleet cutters to keep ice from forming on the overhead wires. At about 4 a.m., uh, obviously there was uh, rain overnight. There was this uh, flash freeze, and the vehicles that were out, they all lost power. So right now we have rail technicians out working on freeing up those rail cars, uh, going as far as manually clearing the ice off the overhead line. So how many cars were out and about doing this work? Is that something that you're trying to cover all lines throughout the course of the evening to keep them from freezing? Is it preventative maintenance? Correct. Yeah, they go out uh, even during non, uh, non-revenue non service. Uh, we had uh, four or five rail cars out. All they were doing is just running up and down the, the lines, making sure that the, uh, the no ice was forming. Now, were those special cars, Adam, or are those just regular cars that you would use, but because of the movement and the friction, it keeps the lines from freezing? That's correct. They're regular cars. They are equipped with a thing called a sleet cutter, and that basically just cuts so it, 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 it's aptly named. It cut the speed off the, off the uh, rail line. And Adam, we know obviously this is Sunday, so you have the, the weekend schedule there. Do you know how many people may be affected by this? I mean, it's 515 now, but do you know how long this problem could linger? We don't know. Unfortunately, the temperature doesn't look like it's going to go above freezing today, so that's going to make it a slow process. Um, we do have rail techs going out, making sure, trying to get the cars moving. But once the car moves, if it uh, hits ice again, then they kind of run into the same problem all over again. So it's a, it's a manual uh, fix. We don't know how long it's going to take, hopefully because the storm was supposed to be much worse than it currently is, that uh, folks will be staying home. Is ice worse than snow for you as far as the maintenance of these particular lines? On the rail lines, absolutely. Ice is, is certainly worse than snow. And since this is, these lines are down, Adam, will there be bus service if someone is out? You know, maybe they have to go to work this morning, maybe, you know, a critical position they need to get there um, from Port Authority. Will there be bus service? Yeah, at this time, it's, it's too early to say. We don't know if we're able to um, put buses on to the same streets where the rail cars go. We will be making that decision uh, early this morning, but right now, uh, just not clear. All right, Adam Brandoff joining us from Port Authority this morning. Thank you very much. I know it's going to be a very busy morning, but we do appreciate the update this morning on the flash freeze affecting rail line service. There is no T service this morning until further notice for Pittsburgh Port Authority because of that flash freeze that started around 4 o'clock this morning. And as morning. you heard, it's going to be a manual fix. So they have their technicians out there, but again, not knowing what time this could be resolved because it could take quite a while. Not affecting bus service no. at this point. But again, we will continue to monitor that situation for you. Sleet cutters, not enough to stop this storm as it rolls through Pittsburgh this morning. 517 now, we're going to take a quick break and be right back with more of KDKA News on Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us.